Okay, so this time um, we're, we're not going to focus on central, the part of the circle anymore. We don't have that, right? I mean, it doesn't even, it's not even drawn. Like maybe it is over here somewhere, but we don't know where the center of our circles are. So we're going to take a look at the arcs where the inscribed angles come from. So for example, um, here's an inscribed angle. Here's the arc that it comes from. Okay. Um, inscribed angle and it shares that arc there. Yeah, so anybody want to wager a guess on what we might be able to say about these? Are there two more inscribed angles? Sorry? Are there like two more inscribed angles? There are more inscribed angles, yes. But let's try just these two first and the arc they've come from. What do you think? What's your intuition maybe tell you? Yeah, they look like about the same, they are the same. So these angles would be the same. If we look at the angles here, and we say they come from this arc here, okay. then what do you think again? Does it still look like it's hold, holding up okay? Yeah, it looks like it holds up okay. These ones here would also be the same angles. Okay. So, so far that what we have is same inscribed angles. Then we would have same size arc. So we can go both ways with this. If we know the arc is the same length, we know the inscribed angles are the same length. If we know the uh, angles are the same, we know the arcs are the same. So we can do it in both directions, whichever one is convenient for solving your problem. So again, if we try it on this one, you'll notice here, I have a small arc there. It's the same arc. These angles here are going to be the same. The other is this arc here. So these angles here are going to be the same. Okay. Now, um, you may not always find them on the same arc. Sometimes you run across an odd problem where maybe it'll tell you this arc equals this arc, and now you know all four angles are equal. Right? There may be a problem where it tells you the arcs are equal length, then you have to go the other direction and say the angles are the same. Okay, but for the most part, um, when they're on the same arc, we, can, we know they're the same angle. Okay. So, um, let's see here. This one, uh, I know, full, full of corny shapes today. Um, I call this one the bow tie relationship because that's kind of what it looks like when it's drawn out. Um, but uh, this is so, I mean, these are, I don't know, anyone ever tied their own bow tie? Yeah, I never, I've worn a bow tie, but I've never tied, tied my own. But uh, it, it would look something like, this is probably the best example here. Like, I mean, maybe if I colored it in, there it looks more like a bow tie. <laughs> sort of. Anyways, just like all the things, the bow tie can get distorted. I mean, if you're not very good at tying your bow tie, right? I mean, I don't know if your date will hang out with you if, you, if your bow tie looks like that. But anyways, that's the figure you're trying to recognize when you think of this shape. If you see that in your picture, you should be thinking about the relationship we talked about, equal angles, equal arcs. So the first one, it's easier to see because the bow tie sort of jumps off the circle at you. But when you see that figure here, this one uh, that makes up my bow tie, then I know I can use that property of equal arcs and equal angles. Okay. So for the first part, um, this is the arc down here. So that arc means this angle is equal to this angle. So I immediately get 70 degrees from it. Now what else can I do to figure out? I got another one I have to figure out. How can I get the other one? Sorry? The bottom angles are equal too. The bottom angles are equal? Sure, let's mark that in the problem. So I get uh, this one is equal to this one. This one here? Yeah. Yeah, these middle angles are also equal. Hmm. Well, we haven't used this 105 yet. Anybody think of how we might use the 105? So the entire thing has to be 75, okay? So let's put that into here. This whole thing has got to be 75. Hmm. 
So what do you think? Yes, Connor? The question mark is a good assignment. Yeah, how'd you get that? Uh, you can make a triangle from the 75 and 75 question mark. Good, so here's the triangle. If you didn't see it, it goes like this. So I use the 70, the 75, and as Connor mentioned, 35 for the missing angle to add up to 180. Okay? So missing pieces were 70 and 35. Um, let's see here. I'm just curious. Do you think it's a, uh, do you think this is a, uh, sorry, do you think this contains the center? Does it look like it goes through the center? Maybe. How could we know if it went through the center? Like, let's just say the center was right there and it, it actually went through the center. How could you verify that it did? Oh, midpoint of the chord perpendicular? Sure. We don't, like, let's just see if we can use the information here. Can anybody think of a way that you might be able to do that? Sure. Andy? The dot. If the line is on the dot, then it should be, right? Yeah. Yeah. If the line goes through that dot, it'll be in the center. But how do we know if the line is on that dot or not? Sine and cosine law. Oh, sine and cosine law. This is geometry. We'll go there later. So uh, this is one property. It's got to go through the center if it's uh, 180 degrees, right? So that means there's got to be 90 degrees here. You could also say the reverse. If you know that you have 90 degrees here, it must be a chord that goes through the center. Okay? So you get both properties. So let's just see. Do we have a triangle, a 90 degree or a right triangle in this problem? No. No. Okay. So 75, 35. It's 110. So that means I'm left with 70 degrees here. So straight line means this is 110 degrees. Okay. 70, 110. Oops, did I do something wrong there? Oh, where did I add it up wrong? 110. That's the whole angle. Oh, that's the entire angle. Right, okay. So before I Let's see here, it's the entire angle. Can we get any more of those angles? I think at this point, I, I, was, I was looking at it just a little bit wrong, but I think we're stuck at this point. I don't see any... Uh, oh, there is another angle. If the two angles on the bottom are the same, and the one on the inside is 35, when, where 75 is, would that be... So this one here? Yeah. Okay, how do you know this one here is the same as... as it's not the... How do you, I'm just guessing. No, that's good. <laughs> it's good to hear some guesses. Yeah. Okay, over here. 75. Yeah. On the bottom right, and then find what that should be, the bottom left corner. Uh, but then it's the same problem again. It's this whole angle. It's not this little angle in here. No, um, I'm talking about the angle next to 35. You can figure out that's what that is. This angle here? Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. Again, to do that, I think we'd need this triangle. Um, you'd need this angle here. This is the triangle you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm stuck, and I think we're all stuck, so I don't think we could show it. But if we could find out that this was 90 degrees, then we could show that it went through the center, too. Um, excuse me, can you draw a line up above and create a chord? So you want to draw a chord right here? Yeah. Okay. Then is that going to share the 75 angle? Is it going to share the arc core one and the left one? Um, the chord that 75 has is this chord here, because that chord would have 75 degrees here. Yeah, what I mean is, could you just like, ignore the lines in the middle and then just, because I'm just wondering whether the, the that arc is to the opposite of 75? Um, I think you're going to have to go over this one with me after, because I'm, uh, I'm not quite sure about that. Eamon? Um, actually, the line that you just drew. Um, yeah. They were right angles where? On top left. So if this was, okay, it would have to be 20? Okay, just hang on. Let's, let's hear them out. So if this was 20, keep going. Then uh, what, what else would we have? Um, and then same thing on the other side. Oh, 
Actually, that might be pure genius. Um, I'm not sure if this is where you're headed with it, Eamon, but uh, here's a counter argument to why it's not through the center. Um, take a look at the arc over here. So here's the arc. Okay. Here's one inscribed angle here. Here's the other inscribed angle here. So those angles have to be equal because they come from the same arc. Yeah? So that means this one couldn't be 20, it'd have to be 35. So if that's not 20, this is not 90 degrees. So it does not go through, this line does not go through the center because this is not 90. Okay? So um, uh, let's see here. This line, though, I still think is a tougher one. I don't know if we can get that line through it. So, anyways, it's time to move on. We can come back and argue this one a little later. <laughs>